I consider myself a luckiest person because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose me and brought me here in Malaysia to join this noble university, International Islamic University, Malaysia. On 27 July 1987, around 11 a.m., I met Professor Kamal Hassan, a handsome personality with a smiling face, and he embraced me and he gave me a feeling that I am here with my old and long friends. He did not pose himself as administrator or as a Sheikh of Kulia at that time for Center for Fundamental Knowledge. That impression lasted until his death. And I started rebuilding my personality, my thinking in his company. I am thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I had a chance to work with him as my Sheikh of Kulia of Center for Fundamental Knowledge. I selected this university because when I came to know about this university, it is an Islamic university and this university aims to rebuilding the Islamic culture and civilization. So I applied and I got offer and I joined this university. When I met Ustad Mukhtar Shafi, at that time he was the Dean for Center for Fundamental Knowledge and Professor Muhammad Kamal Hassan as the in charge for academic affairs of that center CFK. After meeting both of them, I realized that I have come to a really very good place because during my student life, I was involved in some of the way in some or the other Islamic Dawah activities. I realized that instead of doing Dawah in localities among masses, I am here to do and continue the Dawah work inside the classroom in a systematic manner. So Alhamdulillah, I learned many things and I started reforming my mind how to teach the courses. The first thing Professor Kamal Hassan advised me was that I am giving you a course which I used to teach, the history of modern scholarship in the Muslim world. So that course he assigned to me and he told me that all other teachers will also attend your lecture. So Professor Khabaronia, Professor Tamim Musaman, Professor Dr. Manuti and other brothers and sisters also attended my first lecture, which I delivered in this university first time. Before I prepare my lectures, I went to Professor Kamal Hassan to his office and I asked him a few questions. So he gave me some instructions as well as he asked me to read certain specific books. I asked him, can I, sir, come every time to your office? Because his office was not an office, but a library. As you can see here, this library was also his office. So full of books, magazines, journals, newspapers, and many, many things. So I used to borrow from his office all necessary material for preparation of my lectures. At that time, emphasis was on the production of Muslim professionals with good Islamic background, with excellent morals. At that time, we had in our mind how to do dawah work so that we can turn our student into Islamic personality. That was the notion of Islamization of knowledge. But 
Islamization of knowledge was not really the target of the university at that time. That was the notion of Islamization in general, not Islamization of knowledge. I said Islamization of knowledge because nowadays we are listening about Islamization of knowledge. But for last, uh, in the beginning, almost four years, our focus was on the production of good Islamic personalities. We used to attend Ibadah camps uh, every month uh, during one semester for four weeks, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we will stay together with students. From there, I started learning about Professor Kamal Hassan, his behavior, his smiling, his interaction with his students, and he became a role model for me. And when he became convinced with Islamization of knowledge, again he dedicated himself to that. I will speak about that later on. Now, at this moment, I want to say that I deliver lectures, first semester, second semester, third semester, and also I used to attend his lectures. Then I changed my teaching methodology. I was a serious lecturer at that time. I started following Professor Kamal Hassan's style, making some jokes during the lecture, attracting the stu students' attention to certain other things and posing certain challenging questions. I think after that, uh, I was asked to teach a course for a diploma in Singapore. I went there and I started teaching that course. Uh, the class was generally held at uh, 7.30 after Maghrib prayer and it will go until 11 o'clock. So in between there will be a break, party break. So I told my student that, that was my first lecture there in Singapore. I told my student that uh, we have taken our dinner and uh, uh, this is a good time to feel sleepy and sleep. You can sleep in my class, uh, something like this. But after, when I started my lecture and the break was announced, a student went outside. The organizer came and she told me, Ustad, I attended your classes in IIUM. You were a boring lecturer at that time. But now I am hearing all the students are admiring you and telling us that this is the best lecturer till date which we listened or we heard to our teachers from UIA. I said, this credit goes to Professor Muhammad Kamal Hassan. He really impressed me. Islamization of personality, Islamization of teaching methodology as well. He categorically mentioned that we have to first explain if we are teaching a course related to contemporary knowledge, their point of view inside the discipline, then their critical approach we should share with our students, then we should bring the Islamic perspective, then we should bring the criticism from Islamic scholars, and then you should share your own independent opinion. That was the teaching methodology, and I consider this teaching methodology as Islamization of methodology, in fact. After that, whenever I went to take lunch in the campus, I saw Professor Kamal Hassan in the canteen. One day I asked him, Prof, always I saw you in the canteen during the lunch. He said, Dr. Mumtaz, we are murabbi to our students. We have to sit with them. We have to guide them, we have to observe them, we cannot be disassociated with them. I learned from there, he also told me that in another time, help your students, Allah will help you. In canteen, he told me, be with your students 
at some other time he told me help your students so i took these two advices seriously and till date i practiced them as a result of that of course teacher efficiency rating system is here right so students rate our teaching and our thing i feel that i am teaching still here in this university so in this professor kamal's contribution is obviously tremendous because the way he started teaching the way he was, was giving lecture i learned from him and i practiced that as a result of that always i receive higher appreciation from my students meeting students talking to them solving their problems showing them smiling face whenever as academic staff i had the problem for example at that time three children were given school fees but not for and for kindergarten and upper kindergarten so i used to go to professor kamar i ask him sir can you help us to discuss this issue with finance department never he said no whenever i drafted an application never he said i have no time he will take his pen he will correct everything and he will ask now you take this application and give wherever you want to give it never he disappointed never he said that i am busy you come some other time he will give full attention the other day i was giving a lecture for iftar gathering in my department so i referred to the advice of hazrat luhman to his son so one of the advice this he gave was pay attention to the people and i felt that professor kamal took that lesson from the surah hazrat luhman and always he paid attention to teachers colleague and students he was really a practicing muslim a living practicing model islamization in general was our target so i don't hesitate to declare to acknowledge that in this university under the patronage of professor kamal hassan 36 years i had the chance to work with him i cannot if i want to deny i cannot deny his influence on my personality on my teaching method my methodology on my other things inshallah i will share some other aspects later on i want to cover three things here under this as a malay scholar professor kamal hassan accepted the vision of the mission of islamization of knowledge not only accepted he included in the constitution of iium what is iium many people i feel till date have no vision of our university international islamic university malaysia this is the book shaping global islamic discourses a study of role of al azhar al madina and al mustafa arthur says clearly in this book that al azhar represents a traditional point of view al madina salafi school of thought and al mustafa Shia school of thought. It was a challenge to establish an international Islamic university in contemporary times. Thanks to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala who selected Professor Kamal Hassan for this task, and Professor Kamal Hassan included his blood in the concept paper. in the presence of these universities and in subcontinent 
Darlum Deoban, Nadwatul Ulma, other Islamic institutions coming up with an international Islamic university was a challenge, intellectual challenge, in fact. And surprisingly, historian will note this fact. This university did not start with the Kulia of Sharia, the Kulia of Usuluddin. Why? Being an Islamic university, Kulia must teach first Islamic studies, faculty of Islamic studies. Never these terms were used in IIUM. Professor Kamal always said, we are not repeating Al-Azhar or al Madina. This is a unique university, different university. So he shares center for fundamental knowledge concept, not the Islamic studies concept. A fundamental knowledge has to be imported to the, all the students of all the faculties, department, whatever. What is that fundamental knowledge? Not Islamic studies not Sharia sciences. Later on, departments were developed in the name of Usuluddin, Usulul Fiqh. I'm sure that was not the mission of the university, in fact. What happened later on when the Kulia came, again, Professor Kamal Hassan and Abdul Hamid Abu Suleiman worked together jointly and came up with the idea of Islamic revealed knowledge and human sciences. Again, no faculty of Islamic studies. Recently, I think six months or seven months before or one year now, when Centris made the announcement that they are offering a diploma in Islamic studies, so I wrote to the then director, Dr. Akmal, that we never use the term Islamic studies in IIUM. When I, later on, I thought that I should also share with Professor Kamal Hassan, so I sent him what's a message. He said, you are right, Dr. Mumtaz, I will draw attention to them, towards that issue. This university wanted to demonstrate that Islam as a worldview and way of life has directives to all aspects of life. So this university is not focusing only on some dimension in a religious sense. That is why when Islamic revealed knowledge and human sciences term was coined, we were writing on Islamic revealed knowledge division. I was not comfortable with that term, Islamic Revealed Knowledge Division. So I came up with this term, Islamic Revealed Knowledge Disciplines. And I realized that later on, other people also started using the term, Islamic Revealed Knowledge Disciplines. What is my area of study? My field of study? Center for Fundamental Knowledge, Islamic Revealed Knowledge Disciplines. In this Islamic Revealed Knowledge Disciplines, at Pirzan, we have Fiqh, Usuluddin, Quran and Sunnah Studies. So how to study this? Can we apply the term Islamization of Knowledge? I repeatedly said, yes, we can apply this term. But Professor Kamal Hassan came up with the term relevantization of these disciplines. When I read reflected, I realized that he is right. I should not emphasize anymore on that. I should accept relevantization. Why? What does it mean? Because whatever we are teaching in the name of the Sharia faculty, Usuluddin faculty, Fiqh and Usulul Fiqh, 80% material is repeated imitated. Professor Kamal Hassan argued, we need to examine, re-examine, analyze, criticize, 
and bring up to the level of contemporary times. All disciplines in Islamic revealed knowledge division must reflect the contemporary relevance because these are the disciplines which are helping contemporary society to flourish based on a sound foundation of knowledge. These disciplines are contributing towards the development of culture and civilization. We are in fact providing an alternative model of education. We are not accommodating we are working for an alternative model of education. In that alternative model of ed education, everything has to go with the process of evolution in thought. I used to argue in my class on summarization of knowledge. I said, we are teaching fiqh and usul al-fiqh for centuries. What is the development in terms of culture and civilization? in what way we should approach these two terms and these two dis areas of discipline. In what way? Are we just drawing a calm? Are we studying how to draw the calm? Or we are providing what kind of thought has to be developed? Because the term which was used in the Quran in Surah at tawbah refers to the reflection thinking and thought. So Professor Kamal Hassan, with the use of relevantization, wanted to influence all of us, academics, students, masters and PhD, that we have to rethink everything. Read clearly his definition of relevantization. He said, we have to examine, re-examine, be critical, analytical, and provide the new insights. You cannot do this. Third dimension comes in without Islamizing your own self. Under Islamization of knowledge, relevantization and Islamization of self are integral part. What does it mean? Islamization of self. I have to realize as a teacher, what is my duty in International Islamic University? How can I present Islam as a religion in a mere limited sense or as worldview, way of life, source of culture and civilization? How do I present Tawheed as an Akhida doctrine? dogma or the absolute truth and reality of the entire universe. How do we view Tawheed? What are the terminologies which are used by Christians in their theology? Are we using the same terminologies? Theology, for example, doctrine, for example. Kamal Hassan wanted to re-examine Abdul Hamid wanted to re-examine all these things. For that purpose, teacher has to Islamize himself. Teacher has to have a profound understanding of Islam. Islam is not at all, in a limited sense, a religion. But I am hearing in Juma Khutbah also, and here and there, that our academic staff demonstrating nowadays, using the word, our religion. Is Islam our religion? Whenever I listen to Khatib who says our religion, I cry in my heart. This was not the mission. This was not the vision of Professor Kamal Hassan. I'm sure if any student conduct research from the first working paper to until the working paper for the establishment of the Kulia of Islamic revealed knowledge and human sciences, he never used the term religion for Islam. He presented Islam as the worldview, the way of life. And based on that, he wanted to come up with a fresh thought. A thought which can lead the humanity in every area of discipline, in every area of human thought. Our thought has to 
become a leading leading the way does not mean that we are just leading the jalan leading the way means our thought has to become dominant acceptable in such a way that the intellectuals of the world must pay their attention to this thought that is the meaning of international islamic university i ask my student why do we call this university international they say door is open for all nationalities i say no we have accepted consciously the challenge of teaching at the level of international standard the oxford harvard university has only one perspective that is western perspective but iium students have western and islamic perspective who must be superior in terms of understanding the intellectual conceptual theoretical issues of the contemporary time the graduates of iium or oxford or harvard or cambridge this is the challenge this is the meaning of being an international islamic university this is my mission this is my vision recently in iium today i have contributed my aspirations aspiration of my life a small article in that i said that islamization of knowledge is not the agenda of the islamic umma alone as tahajabir alwani has argued islamization of knowledge is an alternative civilizational discourse and it is related to the entire humanity and i feel that with the slogan of lgbt the humanity is moving towards total destruction allah's curse may come on the whole humanity there is no major voice from the islamic world against this evil iium must become a champion against this kind of evils and must pose a challenge the book of altaf gohar which was edited in 1976 in which professor naqib al attas article occupies the third position the only book the challenge of islam we don't have any other book in the name of challenge of islam we are trying to accommodate we are apologetic we are defensive international islamic university stands to become aggressive in the sense that they have ilm al yaqeen ain al yaqeen haq al yaqeen based on yaqeeniyat we present our scholarship we share our point of view we do not have to feel shy we are not going for mediating reconciliation or we are not raising the slogans of liberal islam progressive islam modern islam this university as i said does not represent any school of thought any sectarian approach this university thanks to professor kamal hasan allah subhanahu wa taala i am 100% sure will place him in the jannatul firdaus at an excellent place because of only conceiving this university as the university of umma and humanity i consider this university the university of the umma and humanity humanity is directly involved in this university without involving the in humanity we cannot achieve the mission of this university wallah alam bis sawab thank you very much dr janna i became a little bit emotional because this university is in my ruh in my body in my blood and thanks to professor kamal hasan thanks to abdul abid abu suleiman they represented islam and they represented the dreams of the umma not any sect even this country majority of the people in malays follow school shafi school of thought mm -hmm. but in this university we are not focusing on shafi school of thought we are focusing on the quran and sunna is my wish that everyone should do every semester every course undergraduate masters phd i start when the whole class is full i give one lecture of at least half an hour introducing international islamic university mm -hmm. in every class and i do mention about professor kamal hasan how he prepared the concept paper for the university as well as the kuliya 
when the actual university introduction is integral to Professor Kamala's life. So I'm doing that and I feel that everybody should do that.